this video, we're going to cover a topic that affects a lot of people and might be a bit uncomfortable, but it's super important and that is piles, also known as hemorrhoids. In this video, we're going to be using the term piles and hemorrhoids interchangeably, but don't worry, they mean the same thing. In this video, you're going to learn about what hemorrhoids are, causes, symptoms and signs of piles, what you can do at home to both prevent and treat them, plus other treatment options, as well as red flag symptoms to watch out for. So first of all, what are piles? Well, piles are basically lumps that can form inside and around your bottom, specifically the anus. They're pretty common and they often get better on their own, but knowing how to treat and prevent them is really important. In terms of what causes them, they're essentially swollen blood vessels that develop because of increased pressure in the lower rectum, and things like sitting for long periods of time on the toilet, being overweight, straining during bowel movements, so using your abdomen to push down hard, heavy lifting and pregnancy can also increase your risk. Now, in terms of signs and symptoms of piles, this is going to depend on the type of pile or hemorrhoid that you have, and we're going to run through three of the common ones and their symptoms now. So the first are something called internal hemorrhoids. These are located inside the rectum and they're usually not visible or painful. However, they can cause painless bleeding when you go to do a poo. You might notice bright red blood on the toilet tissue after you've wiped or in the toilet bowl and a prolapsed or protruding hemorrhoid, which is where the hemorrhoid pushes through the anal opening, potentially causing pain and irritation. The second are external hemorrhoids. These occur under the skin around the anus and they can cause itching or irritation in the anal area. They can also cause pain and discomfort, as well as swelling around the anus and bleeding. Finally, there are thrombosed hemorrhoids. These are external hemorrhoids where blood pools and forms a clot, leading to severe pain, swelling and inflammation, and sometimes a hard, discoloured lump near the anus. So now let's talk about how you can prevent them and things that you should do at home if you've got piles, and we're going to cover nine things that you should think of doing and six things to try and avoid. Now, in terms of the things that you should do, try to drink lots of fluid and eat plenty of fiber, and this is to keep your poo soft, which will avoid it irritating your back passage. Wipe your bottom with damp toilet paper. Take paracetamol if the piles hurt. Take a warm bath to ease itching and pain if the hemorrhoids or piles are causing pain. Use an ice pack wrapped in a towel to ease discomfort. You can gently try push back a pile inside if it's an external one. Try keep your bottom clean and dry. Finally, try to exercise regularly and cut down on alcohol and caffeine to try and avoid constipation, which is going to make the piles and hemorrhoids worse. In terms of things to avoid doing, well, try not to wipe your bottom too hard after you poo. Try to avoid ignoring the urge to poo, pushing too hard when pooing, taking painkillers that contain codeine because these can cause constipation, taking ibuprofen if your piles are bleeding, or spending more time than you need to on the toilet. So if despite all of these tips you're still struggling, then you're going to need other treatment. And in this section of the video, we're going to discuss treatment options that might be available to you at home, and then we'll go on and discuss more advanced treatment options if these home options aren't working for you. So in terms of home treatment, well, the good news is that there are medicines that are available over the counter that you can purchase. To do this, you should speak to your pharmacist and they might be able to offer you creams to help ease the pain, itching and swelling, so things like Anusol, treatment to help constipation and soften poo, so things like laxatives, or cold packs to ease discomfort. Now, if these home treatments aren't working or you're experiencing severe symptoms, it's probably time to see your doctor. They're going to assess you and take a look at your piles. They may also need to place a gloved finger inside your bottom to see if you've got internal piles. Now, you should see your doctor if you've got symptoms of piles and they're getting worse or there's no improvement after seven days of treatment at home. You keep getting piles or you've noticed a change around your bottom that's not normal for you. And it's also important to see your doctor if you've noticed that you're losing weight without trying to, if you've noticed visible bleeding from your bottom, if you've got piles and your temperature is very high or you feel hot and shivery and generally unwell, or if you've got pus that is leaking from your piles. So now we've covered the treatment options that you can try at home, as well as when you should go and see your doctor. Well, let's discuss hospital treatment, because in some cases, if all of the home treatment options haven't worked, 
you might need treatment in hospital. Now, this can include non-surgical options like rubber band ligation, where a rubber band is placed around your piles to try and make them drop off, sclerotherapy, which is where a liquid is injected into the piles to try and make them shrink, electrotherapy, where a small electrical current is applied to the piles to make them shrink, and infrared coagulation to try cut off the blood supply to the piles. Now, these procedures are generally quick and you're likely to go home the same day. However, if they don't work, surgery might be required and the surgeon performing the procedure can run you through different options that are available to you. Finally, when should you go to the emergency department? Well, if you're experiencing non-stop bleeding, you're passing large blood clots, or you're in very severe pain, it's crucial to seek immediate medical attention. So in a nutshell, this is what I think you need to know about piles. If you've got any questions or experiences that you'd like to share, please do leave a comment below, and please do check out the description box of this video for more useful information. Until next time, thanks for watching, and bye.